So last night, I had a dream. Sorry, wrong dream. I had a dream where my father came home. And woe is me. I'm a wimp compared to my father. It is so embarrassing. I mean, look at him compared to me. And that's just one problem. Another problem is my mother is literally constantly in her room weeping because she's supposed to marry one of the suitors that are living in our house and she doesn't want to. She is waiting for my father Odysseus to come home and I am getting so annoyed at all the loud din they are making. I have to go to bed now. But tomorrow, I'm kicking all of the suitors out of me and my mom's house. Oh, I don't understand why the Ithacans are having this meeting. It is so boring. And I just want to talk about my dad. I and I also told those suitors to give me a year to find my father. And if I don't find him in a year, then my mother can marry one of them. They made fun of me for it, but I don't care because I, Telemachus, am going to find my father. So Mentor and I are on the island where Nestor lives and she wants me to talk to him about my father. Are you kidding me? I can't talk to him. I'm like, I can't. I'm too scared. I don't know what I would say or anything. I don't know what to talk to him about. At least we get to eat first. Um, yeah, so I like food. Now that we've eaten, I think I'm brave enough to talk to Nestor. Of course, with, of course, because Mentor helped me. So I'm going to ask him where my father is and when he's coming home. And hopefully he'll tell me because so far he's only given me a list of people who have come home. But he hasn't mentioned anything about my father yet. Okay, so the only information that Nestor talked about was the, um, the Battle of Troy. And that's it. And now he wants me to like sleep at his house. And then all of a sudden, Mentor turns into a bird and flies away. And now I know she's Athena. Okay, so I am at the king's house, and we are having another feast, um, and I like it here a lot better because the king loves my father, so he loves that I am in his house. For some reason, everybody at this party is sobbing, and this is a wedding celebration, so I don't understand why people are sobbing. So then, Helen slip something into everyone's drink to stop the sobbing. And then she tells her story. So then I'm just like, uh, can I please be dismissed for the night? In the morning, the king wants me to stay. And I don't want to say, I want to keep, I want to keep on my journey. I want to keep going. I want to find my father. So I'm like, here, you take my gift. I'll, no, you take your gift. I'll take my gift. See ya. <laughs>